Hello, 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 beautiful unicorns. How are you guys doing today on this lovely Monday? Yes, I know I'm in a car driving and uh, my plan is to do live videos in this group on Mondays at 1.30. But today I thought, you know what? Why wait? As I'm uh, re-listening to, I, I said this many times, every, every time I get in the car, I listen to the law of being cities. So this city um, is about energy and just re-listening to all the energy levels. And as I'm hearing the first energy level, um, it brought me back to my past where I was just a few years ago recognizing myself being the victim now when people hear the word victim uh, quite often they think that you can only be a victim when you have been physically abused in a sense right but that's not necessarily the case um, you can be a victim of your circumstances uh, when things don't work out the way you want them to, you can beat yourself up in a way and people around you can help out as well. I mean, they're, they're great at doing that sometimes, aren't they? Um, but I know some will say, well, your favorite energy level. Why would level one be your favorite energy level? And here's why. I would rather go inwards and go to... Mm, how do I put it? Be down on myself and feel the feelings and emotions that have been gifted to me because all that we are feeling, the feelings and emotions, the thoughts that we're able to have, it is a gift because not every, not every living being has that opportunity. So being at level one, most of the time a choice but sometimes not and staying there is a choice for me now whereas before it never used to be I was just a victim of everything and not even recognizing that because I didn't know any better right and that's I guess that's the difference between doing something and not doing something it comes down to awareness if we are aware that that's where we are and that's what we're feeling and experiencing and most importantly that we are aware that there are choices at hand even if we might not necessarily feel like that right away but knowing that they're there um, makes it a little bit easier simply because by by that other level being available um, by you knowing that you can choose to go to a higher level and respond from there even though you're not ready yet it makes it a little bit easier and what that means is like uh, the best way I guess to describe it is if you are sick right you let's say you have a cold and the first the first day is usually the hardest right but closer to the end you might start to feel like well I know I'm gonna feel better I know it's possible I know this is not gonna last forever it just creates a little bit of hope that's what it does it creates a little bit of hope and when you are at that level of level one being the victim when you are experiencing a lot of sadness a lot of grief um, and guilt that's a huge one because for me that's my level one was just full 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 of guilt and still I go to that level and that's why I say that's my favorite level uh, because I'd rather be the victim than get angry and explode on on the person and let them have it um, because by, by me being a level one I I feel it I understand it and so that way when I meet somebody else who is at that level I I'm not much more able to relate to them and they're that much more able to relate to me because they have been at that level and maybe they know it quite well like I do and then from there I can then choose to stay there or move up 
a level, right? There's really no down because level one is, is the lowest level of energy. Um, and I know a lot of you might not know what are these energy levels you speak of. I'll be talking a little bit more about it. And I know Rachel and I have been talking about these energy levels in our uh, videos that we do. Uh, and I post them on YouTube. I used to post them on here, but it was just becoming a little too much for myself. Um, and that's where I found myself being at level one as well. Perfect life example. When I said, I'm going to post, I'm going to record the videos with Rachel and then I'm going to post it on my, uh, in my group. Then I'm going to post it on YouTube. Then I will post it on my page. And it's like, oh my God, that's a lot of things just for one thing. And it becomes overwhelming, taking on too much. And at the same time, there's a lot of other things that need to get done and that I want to get done and that I choose to get done for for myself, for my family, and for the business, right? And it takes time to grow all of that, um, especially the kids, right? It takes time to grow the kids. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> I say the joke all the time. Um, when people are, when people ask me, should I get a dog, right? Because it takes a long time to train a dog and take care of a dog. I'm like, well, think about it this way. You can have a fully trained dog in one year. Very well obedient trained dog in just one year. When you have kids, it takes a lifetime to train them. Right? And I say train them because it's not really training. It's we're just helping them and guiding them in the right direction for them hopefully right um anyways i feel like i'm like gibbering jabbering because my mind is really just all over the place and not gonna lie i'm overwhelmed today because i have a lot on my to-do list and that's just part of growing a business but i do have the tools to get me through that and as most of you might have already noticed, I help other women who are in the same or similar situation um, to get through through the day, get through the week, and experience success, however they define it. And I help them define that success, that success as well, too, if, if they're not really clear. And um, it really does come down to... Who do you want to be tomorrow? Right. Do you want to be the same person who is feeling victimized by, by life, by people in your life? Is it working for you? Well, if you're still there, it's working, right? Uh, it might not feel good, but it's there for a reason. We go through these feelings and emotions, these energy levels, and we stay there because they give us what we want, um, even if it's not actually what we want consciously. And the reason why we stay there is because it feels safe and familiar. And I speak from experience as well, first and foremost, I wouldn't speak of these things if I did not experience them myself. Even if my clients did, I would not be able to speak about them the way that they would because I, I would not have experienced it. So that's why when I speak of something, I speak of it from experience. And yeah, I did stay a victim because it was serving me, because I was getting what I what I wanted or what I thought I wanted. Um, I was getting what I needed in the same time what I thought I needed. And I decided that's not who I wanted to be anymore. And that was scary. That was very scary. Even thinking about it now, I, f I feel like crying, but I'm not going to because I got to go to the store. I'm waiting. Um, it's already open. I was waiting for it to be open. And, and now that it is, um, it was, it was really serving me and it was scary to acknowledge that that's not who I wanted to be and that's not who I used to be and that something needed to change. So little by little, I started paying attention to my 
the surrounding world and listening to what it was telling me and that's honestly like that's how I came across the law of being and it was a little challenging for me <laughs> that's a lie it was very challenging for me to say yes to myself and make that huge investment at the time um, but in all honesty I'm glad I did because the ripple effects of me mastering myself that because that's what it, it really came down to for me me becoming the master of myself um, which in turn master of my life and everything right that's what like what was that the ripple effect of that was it, it touched every part of my life every part of my life every relationship um, some in a good way some again I don't like the labels good and bad but this is how um, the human language is understood um, some in the bad way and those that were those relationships that were affected in the bad way were actually the best thing that happened to me because in my growth I recognized the the people that were not serving me people that were using me and the people that were keeping me down and by those relationships being affected meaning that they got pushed to the side or got terminated so to speak um, termination of relationship it benefited me in many ways it opened up the doors for other people to come in into my life when I needed them most and you know that phrase that saying that they say you become the average of the five people you surround yourself with well that is very true so if you surround yourself with losers you're gonna become a loser you're gonna become the average loser if you surround yourself with people who are building a business you're gonna become the average business builder if you surround yourself with people who are building an empire you're going to become the average of the empire building <laughs> isn't there an empire building uh, Empire Builder there let's let's change that up a little bit um, and really it comes down to who do you want to be who do you want to become once you decide that seek those people out that are doing that that are being that that are living that and watch yourself transform of course you gotta do a little bit of work and there's going to be times and moments when you might feel like you're being challenged because they are better than you and we humans can't help by, but to compare ourselves I mean we were just raised that way from very young age we're constantly compared to everyone around us so it, it's normal it's absolutely normal to compare yourself to others but there's a wrong way of doing it and there's a right way of doing it and please don't spend too much time um, doing your marketing research on these people just spend your time with them get to know them talk to them don't think that they're doing something better than you because if you give that a go guaranteed you'll do better than them just trust yourself and trust the process even though it might be difficult to trust the process sometimes when we are at level one it might be helpful to get to level two and get a little bit angry and use that fuel then move to level three and and rationalize through what is really happening what are you feeling what are you experiencing how is it benefiting you um, how are you helping the other person how's that person helping you and um, yada 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 blah 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 I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep going with this uh, because I gotta go um, I gotta go to the store and then I gotta race home and get back on time for my next uh, my next call so anyways hope this was helpful and hopefully it made sense to you because in the way certain parts felt like it didn't make sense to me because I am distracted by the cars by the people walking by and I'm just like looking and admiring everyone wearing masks um, you know what I'll show you the mask that I'm wearing because you know 
<laughs> I gotta be different and I cannot wear a plain mask because I'm me. So here it is. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you, the mouth would move, but um, every time I go to a store, people are like, oh my god, I love your masks, and some people are like, oh my god, that's scary, because they've probably seen the movie, so this is from It, uh, Pennywise, anyways, I got to go, it was lovely chatting with you, and let me know what, what came up for you, in comments, let me know what came up for you, and I would love to, I would love to read it, and until then, bye, thanks for watching.